Hello and welcome to Old Lady Plays. I'm Kate, the old lady, and this is The Loyal, episode 36 of a San Diego Loyal Save. And here with Football Manager 2021, we are ready to play. Let's go look at the schedule and see how things are doing. You last saw us at the Atlanta United match, which we won to make it through to the League Cup semi-final, which is what we're playing today. But between then, it, it got shifted. It was supposed to be after the Seattle match, but it got moved back. So it's it's a few matches more than we expected. Colorado, we managed to get a draw, nil-nil. Fairly happy with that. Took a few more yellows than I'd like. Cincinnati, we lost on penalties in um, in the fifth round of the USFA Cup. That was frustrating, but I mean, you know, we'd, we'd done very well to get that far. We'd beaten some pretty good teams, so that's okay. We lost 3-2 to a late LA Galaxy goal, wasn't it? No. Yes, it was. 90th minute. Yes. And that was also very frustrating, because we'd had the lead a couple of times in that match. Minnesota United, we managed to beat them 2-0. That was pretty good. They had a man sent off in the 38th minute. It didn't make a huge amount of difference. We'd already been up by one at that point. So uh, we lost 3-0 to Atlanta United. We were never really in this game. It just They just blew us out. Uh, Seattle, we lost on a late goal, 91st minute. That was frustrating. We outplayed them. And... We had more XG, we had more shots, we had more possession. We just could not beat their goalkeeper. They're first in the league, and they had to win with a 91st minute winner. So we pushed them pretty hard. Chicago um, took an early lead, and we came back and beat them. That's pretty much the only way to put it. We came back and beat them. Um, like a big drum, we beat them 4-2 to two, uh, with a late goal for a change on our side, which was nice. Um, so Vega had gone for 11 hours of football without scoring, and then he scored recently uh, here. Right, it was here in Chicago and um, here against New England that he had scored. There's a brace as well and Ken Bennett got the goal in the 95th minute against New England I hadn't done this one yet but there you go he gets the late winner after coming on as a sub made me look like a genius I was very happy um, that will do for that so today we're playing uh, the US United States U.S. League Cup semi-final. That's what we're playing today. I can talk real good English. That's me. Um, at this point, we are sitting in 14th. How is that for crazy talk? We're seven points clear of the rele relegation zone. Nashville has already been relegated, so that's good to know. At least one team is already out of the way. One slot is filled, as it were. Um, we're hopeful. We'll see how we get on here, but um, this, of course, is a cup match, so this doesn't really matter to the league. But hey, we're 14th in the league, so that's not bad. I'm I'm kind of happy with that. It's not relegation, and it's it's not quite mid table, so I think it's a pretty good setup. Um, let's go and play Columbus. The team today, Knight in goal, Lachvacchiliani on the left, Garibay, Leone, and Kuchin is back, finally. Gutierrez is in. He's got a fractured wrist. He'll be playing with, um, with a cast on it. Fromont to the right and Squizzaro to the left in midfield. McAtee up front behind Rubin and Vega. Vega now has something like 12 goals for us. 14 goals for us. Nine in the league and five in the FA Cup. So he's done very well for us. I've been very happy with him for a 19-year-old, no less. So he's, like I said, this team is very young. 
he's been a good part of why that why we've done as well as we have. He is injured and needs to come out, but that's okay because Dane Sinclair should be back by now. Yes, he is. Um, this game was rescheduled because of international call-ups. Um, I had too many, so we asked them to reschedule, and we did. Um, we had eight players called up for internationals, which is just exciting. I was really pleased to see how, you know, that had gone. That was, whew, exciting. Um, go hard and tap, I'm sure we can do that. All right. San Diego versus Columbus in the League Cup. I think we owe them after what happened in our last match. And we should go out there and get revenge. Oh, the team agrees. Who knew? We'll be looking for some more experienced players to help the. Yes, of course. I always expect the older players to help. Columbus crew are all that stand between your San Diego loyal side and a place in the final. Just how excited are you by the possibility of winning this competition? We're not there yet. We have a tough tie against Columbus Crew SC to concentrate on first. That's what we're going to do. We're going to concentrate on them. I don't know what concentrate means, but I think it's probably fairly closely related to concentrate. Come on, boys. Let's go. Love the orange. Lots of loyal. And this is not our new stadium yet, either. We've got a 10,000 seat stadium coming in a year. It's exciting. Woo I just hope it's expandable, because we really need to be able to make more money. Not that we're hurting or anything with the amount of TV money that's available in this Premier League. It's it's really crazy. Whoa, that looked like a penalty. And a yellow card. He's taking it. Gutierrez. With the fractured arm, does the job. His third goal of the season. That's excellent. We're off to a good start. Not a great penalty, but good enough to beat this keeper. That's all that's needed. Over the bar. Columbus have been a bit of a bogey team for us, so it'll be really nice if we can actually beat them. Um, yeah, they've been somebody that we've had a hard time beating. Which is kind of funny because Digi's had a hard time beating them with his um, Chandler FC. Not them, but their academy. Um, he's been having a rough time with them as well. So it's just funny that we should both be having problems with the Columbus Crew franchise. So, 1-0. I say that's not good complacent up there. Ah, oh, yes, they agree with me. They are motivated by that very concept. I am happy. And nicely taken down. Oh dear, oh dear. That should have been in. An empty net. Either got that, no problem. Been able to keep it down. Takes it, McAtee, well done. And tries to sneak one past the keeper, but cannot get it from that distance. Oh, poo. Ah, there's the X, there's the penalty. And good level again. 
super. And Black Reckoniani is tired. Gutierrez is also tired. And I didn't bring Yusuf a Bob this time, so. Right, I've got Luis and Esther Ruiz. He's not as good, but he'll have to do the job. That's fine. Let's do this. I apologize for the little boo boops in the background. I forgot to mute Discord. Apparently. Looks like we're going to extra time. That's just what we needed. More tiredness. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's nice to see. Lots and lots of green happy faces. Okay. Nice take. Keeper brings it, comes out to take that one in hand. These aimless passes to nowhere are really frustrating. Bennett for Rabin. The reason being that Bennett has showed really well that he can play under pressure. So let's hope he can do something this time. Come on. No highlights in the second half of extra time. Oh, that is frustrating. That is frustrating. We had that game in hand, and we lost it. Despite the result, I'm pleased with your performance out there. Really wanted to get to the final. That's really disappointing. Didn't deserve to lose today, I think that's fair to say. I hope to react positively and work harder, obviously. Oh, another one goal defeat. So frustrating. And yeah, that's that. They're all looking at Alexis Gutierrez because they all think they're going to buy him and none of them are right. So, that's going to do it for this episode. Oh, I am bummed. I am bummed, I will admit. I am bummed. Um, let me think. We've only got five games left. Um, and they're not easy games. Kansas City is 10th. Salt Lake City is about 16th. Well, they're okay. That shouldn't be too hard. Cincinnati is always tough in 8th. 
New York City are second, Inter Miami are ninth. So yeah, it's going to be a tough, tough little run in. But, but, we do have a seven point lead. And there's three teams between us and relegation at the moment. So, we've got a decent shot at staying up. You know, 40 points is usually the cutoff point for a 38 game season in terms of relegation. So if we can get another win out of the five remaining games, we should be safe from relegation. We should. You know, it's not a perfect science. So we're going to go out there and try and win as many as we can. Anyway, that's when we'll be back somewhat sometime in the next five games when it becomes clear that we've clinched um, clinching um, safety. We'll come back and then we'll do the end of season awards and stuff. And then I guess I'm going to do a transfer window in the middle of the week again. Yay! Um, so it looks like we'll have a transfer window on Friday. How, how exciting. Sorry I couldn't get you a cup final to watch, but that's how it goes. I hope that you have enjoyed the episode. I appreciate your time. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day and take care.